guys, this is the Libromancer Synchro deck that I utilized to clap up all our opponents out there. It was really fun, but you know what? Flunder and El Lich, the two most monkey decks on the planet, is not enough against the absolute best decks in the game after Pendulum. So this Libromancer strategy is going to consist of Triple Enchanter, Triple Right, Foolish, Faithful, Griffin, uh, Draco back. None of the Libromancers are, are effect on summon. They That's why it synergizes really well with the Brave Package. Playing Itali and all these cards, these cards are so insanely broken in the deck. You need to play the biggest Souls package possible. It's a Souls deck. You get a free draw off any single Libromancer you draw because all the Libromancers get each other. So each of the Libromancers will get into Geek Boy, which will get into Fire, which will get into Field Spike, etc., etc. They'll always get them. And you'll souls them away. Uh, we weren't actually able to show the full combo because we're facing against monkey decks. So I'm going to show you guys the full combo of the deck right now and it's uninterrupted or even interrupted through multiple hand traps. You guys saw when, you know, if you get a hand trap, typically you go into the Heat Soul package. So even if you don't have the tuners, you go Heat Soul. So you still draw multiple times. If you do have tuners, you go into the tuner synchro. Si uh, not size we just go into big ass negate packet with, with uh snow and grave and small world's a god card in this deck because it'll get you the ritual the only time when the libra monsters are bad is when you don't open a ritual so you must play uh you know libra monster doom broker as well as a bunch of rituals like illusion cast to search it and small world also gets them and that's it for the actual deck here and i'm going to show you guys how the deck will perform a libra monster all right guys i i don't think i'm matching this what decks play prosperity um i'm not asking this i am not asking this also gamma is picking up traction i think gamma is fucking awful but it's picking up traction uh so we'll just wait and see what he has do i draw a libra monster and i'm breaking any board that ass this deck destroys boards if i draw a libra monster i play 12 with smaller level like 15 i break any board <laughs> you have no outlet oh my god really the one video i could show you guys how to play libra monsters and we play against Floodgate deck. Wandering Griffin Rider on top for 2,000 points of damage. That's right. Eat my shit, bro. Let's go. Whoa, let's go. And ah, this is insane. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to activate Rite of Aramisir. We're going to show this Elledge Duelist was good. I'm pretty sure all we're missing is a tuner, but it's okay. We don't need it. There's another way to play without needle fiber. We're going to show you guys. It's really cool. All right. So the next strategy, which one do we special first? We special this first. Reveal chain link, chain link. What exactly is this deck? Yes. All right. Here we, we do not. I don't think we synchro off the, the tuners here. He's playing a Mystic Mind deck. He literally revealed Demise of the Land. I think we literally keep Draco back. You know, I think that might be a strategy. If we keep it on the field and he uh, Golden Lords, I'll use Golden. I'll use uh, Griffin to negate the Golden Lord, and I'll still keep the Draco back on the field. So even if we Mystic Minds, we'll have that. Okay, we are, we also have answers in the deck to out it anyways, but, uh, you know. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna use this now. We're gonna get Griffin. We're gonna equip the Draco back. We will try not to synchro off the Griffin and token. We'll try not to. Uh, now we're gonna plus a lot. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really cool. I got this idea from Milano. It's really cool. So next, we're going to special. All right. We're gonna search this guy. Okay. Next, activate. All right, how do we do this? One second. So we're going to activate this. I think. Yeah, get this. Then we're going to normal. Land for knock. Ranakis, and then we're gonna go into Heat Soul. We're when we trade off our cards one for one versus their cards one for one. Maybe I should just a trap before I drew, but it's oh. <laughs> when we trade off one for one our cards versus their cards, our cards win every time. Put this in defense. Effect, we're gonna add back the Libromancer Fire Dude. 
And then we're going to use the effect of this to summon this. And then we're going to use the effect of this to set the trap. Now against a deck like El Lich, th just this setup alone, you know, you're going to have a draw from Heat Soul. We have two defensive cards. We have th uh, three def uh, two negates from Griffin. Intervent. This is perfect. We have four interruptions, 100%, and we have a crazy follow-up. Against this, you do not, like, you know, like, this is great. Even against any normal deck. Uh, they're not, like, this would be double hand trap and two negates and a draw. So against decks like this, you s keep your plus five. In this deck, I don't play the Scythe Lock in this version. I, gosh, do I set Imperm? He might be playing some random shit. I kind of also want to set this near Floodgates. It's fine. Okay. And now we're going to pass. The question can be had to play around Gamma. But he could also play Lightning Storm. So I'm going to use this now. It's not Lightning Storm. I'd rather play around Lava Golem and Sphere Mode in an LH deck than Gamma. That when he did not Gamma on my turn. So we're going to use this effect to draw one. Now, like with this whole, like with this plus right now, look at like with this, like it's very tough for LH to come back. Like our cards are going to trade off so damn well. And like, look, I'm going to show you something else really cool. Yeah, we're going to let him Prosperity. So we're going to negate this. We're going to add this back. We're going to special summon Geek Boy. We're going to get another plus. Yeah, like we have five cards. Like, like the plus is never ending. Like you're going to start with six cards in your hand. You're going to draw multiple times off Heat Soul. Like that whole setup over there against any deck that's not like Pendulum that's going to pend a billion. Like as long as you don't die, you just auto win. Because you have six cards in hand, you just do the exact same shit again. That's a really cool thing to leave a brave with all this hand trap and stuff. It's really cool. Yo, let's go, Zylo. Let's go, Snowing. All right, so. El Lich, El Lich, El Lich. We keep one of these for Itali. Uh, Mourner is fucking useless. But it's a tuner hand trap. Let's go. This would be the most legendary video of all time. He better not be stream sniping and ruining this for us. I would literally destroy him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I will literally do ASMR. Just kidding. ASMR's for barbs. I am barb. I like ASMR. Response. Yeah, it better be okay. This would be the literally the Yugi Moto level strategy. Okay, is that good? Is that good? Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Special effect attack directly, you can't even stop it! Let's check his set, oh my god, we did it! We did it, he saw the play! So I just need a Libra, oh my god, I have a Libra Mentor. Oh, GG, literally GG's. All right, so. DP, sorry. Itali. Effect. Effect. This is going to get you Liebermancer Field Spell. All right. Next, we are going to... Let's go with Enchantress Effect. We're gonna search right. No draw on Lockbird, it's not real. Thank you. Like I said, we're gonna activate right and we're gonna set faithful. Good old faithful. And then we're gonna use Liebermancer Field Spell. And that is gonna get us our good pal, Liebermancer Fire. 
this is where we're going to go Libra Mines of Fire. We're going to reveal the Illusion of Chaos. We're going to use the effect of that and Channeling Two Faithful. This will search us Equip Spell. And this will search us the level six dude. All right. Uh, our next play, we're going to use the other effect to get Griffin. We're in danger, boys. We are in danger. Our magician souls cannot draw two. Do you mind keeping it in your hand for the culture? No shot. <laughs> it was worth asking. Think on faithful ad. Okay, so he's definitely playing Flunder. Uh, so I think we get Griffin here. Draco back, banish, special Griffin. Um, Valor is dead through D-Shifter, so we're going to have to normal summon the Valor. We cannot even souls. Or I'm just, the most thing I'm sad about is drawing too. And also, okay, so we Needle Fiber with Valor and one of these. All right, I got a sick idea. I drank with Triff Gaming. <laughs> I haven't drank with Not Triff Gaming. <laughs> Not Triff Gaming is a boring fellow. All right, I will get Griffin. All right. And then uh, maybe we save Draco back. Hmm. Oh, I got the play. All right, we don't save Draco back. See you later, Draco back. You're a bomb, Draco back. Just kidding, Draco back, you're good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna preparation of right. No, we're gonna Griffin first before this guy does any other shenanigans. Uh next, I think we normal summon Valor. This is tough. Oh, I got it. Normal Valor. No, we're going to go Preparational Rights. We're going to uh, fusion the other guy. Negate that so we can get actual negate here. Um, Ghoul Soger. I can't use that even if it's in the field, right? No, I cannot. All right, and then we'll have to check Herald of Orange Light. Does that work? You can tribute this card, negate the activation. You can just... Okay, good. So I could negate with Herald. Okay, so our next play. Normal Valor. And fire. We put them into needle fiber and then we special a level one tuner and make Geek Boy into Herald and then we summon Doom Broker. Alright, there we oh my we're insane. We are actually next level. Even through Herald, even through Dimension Shift, we're gonna put up five negates. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, really dude. That that is that is not nice. That is not nice. No response to Ash. I, you know what? We, we're literally going to have one negate for each card in his hand. So it literally just doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, effect. Effect. We're still going to win. It literally just does not matter. And then we're going to draw two on our turn with Illusion. It literally just doesn't matter. So this is funny, right? So he has four cards left. He has D-Shifter, Ash. He could open Rabina, Prosperity, everything he wants. It does not matter. This is literally unstoppable. Best deck in the game after Pendulum. Let's go. Think. Look at this now. Don't scoop, by the way. For the culture. Hmm. I will Griffin. Griffin, okay. Res. Effect. Discard one card. 
Put yourself at two cards? And then Desert Locust and Token? Why'd you scoop? Why'd you scoop? And then Desert Locust, Token's gonna be at two cards. And then Desert Locust and Token with the Baron to Floor. And then this Flunder Duelist is gonna have two cards left in his hand. And we're gonna have a Baron to Floor and a Trap Negate. You have two Omni Negates, and he has two cards left in his hand. With the best hand that that deck can open. Flunder's free. Let's go. Okay, so you, he definitely... I, I don't even think it's worth it to Lightning Storm. He, he's just gonna use the trap, right? I think. This could be a dead Lightning Storm. Let's just figure out what he has. How can we figure... You know what? Whatever. Just chain your trap. Chain, chain your... Chain your, your Feather Duster. Or feather, feather, harpies, trap, whatever. Uh, I won't use it on monster. Oh, I should have used it on my. Oh, monsters was way better. Uh, but then then it plays. If it was like a imp my hand's playing through imperm, like it was nothing. If it was feather storm, I'm gonna destroy his monsters anyways, so it doesn't really ma matter. He changed feather storm. I just chain griffin, and I just destroy his monsters, and I still end on double negates. Trap. All right, declare chain. Uh, right. It's fine. Like I could have also just not lightning storm, but I meant like, but you know what? It's fine. Like, like, am I just not gonna not? I'm just gonna not lightning storm anytime you duel against a Flunder player. You still have to like, just see what it is. Thinking. We only have one field spell, right? Okay, so cancels. Hmm. I think we just attack, attack. What if we don't attack? Zombie world! I forgot I put in zombie world! <laughs> I forgot we put in zombie world. Oh, that, yeah, that's free. Okay. Yeah, so we just attack, attack in the zombie world. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm gonna zombie world for sure i'm gonna attack because you're just going to the rank one guy and zeus my ass Four thousand. Yep. All right. Any answer yes to Zombie World with Griffin? Uh, yeah. I don't want him to draw out. And I don't care what he said. He gets him whatever he wants. Uh, we are not under. Um. <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no all right so we're both in a battle right now i'm gonna souls i'm literally gonna souls away my right we need to see a tuner really bad Oh my god, he's at 5,400. I could literally go access code, put up 53. Wait a second, I could just win. Okay, so hold on, hold on. I just go dark, normal droll, Celine, access, right, attack for game. Does this play around Ash? Yes. Shift, like... I don't think he plays Veil. Veil would be the only card he would get cucked to. Mm. 
All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, GG's. All right. Classic Flunder. This is just a basic can over here as well. Uh, When I first built this deck, I think I went 10 and 0 automatically off the top. I just built the deck. Milano actually told me, like, yo, try out Libra Monsters. And yo, he's right. Libra Monsters are actually insane. So with a hand like this, you, you could do this multiple ways. You know, you could, you have tuners to normal summon. Uh, you have hand traps going second. So going second, I'm going to show you guys how, how this is going first. Going second, you know, you have double hand trap to stop your opponent. Your opponent is not playing through Ash Valor. And now when you, on your turn, Terraforming Small World, Libra Monster. This is like the game on the spot. So now when you're going first, I'm going to show you guys this typical combo. So first things first, you want to save Small World for the very end. You can even go Small World into Red Bear Miss here if you want to. But in this current scenario, I, I really don't want to do too much. So I'm going to go Terraforming. Okay, I want to see what my opponent's gonna have. I'm gonna go Libra Monster against the field spell. And I'm gonna do in the center. I'm gonna go into Libra Monster first appearance. The first appearance is going to get me uh, the ritual. Or, uh, you know what? I think we're gonna go for Libra Monster Fire here, okay? And the next play we're gonna do, we're gonna go into Small World. So, Small World, we're going to decide what. We don't really need Geek Boy because uh, Geek Boy is like. And the cool thing about Small World is every single card in your deck bridges with each other. Doesn't matter what they are. Everything gets to everything. Like, randomly, Libra Monster fires fucking 1800 defense. <laughs> like, every hand trap 1800. Uh, this is randomly level 3. Like, like, every single thing gets to each other. Because, I, I guess, Konami just knew this is the best deck after Pendulum. So, what we're going to do, do here with Small World is we're going to turn Geek Boy into Illusion. Uh, the Illusion Ritual. So... Uh, it's a level three so this is one thing so we could go into a dark we need a spellcaster or a dark so let's or you yeah so the spellcaster or dark so let's do this right now spellcaster or dark or level three so yeah we could go a, show a rose dragon to get into illusion of chaos can we do this without removing let's do some calculations so we could do this with any rose dragon but now we have to make the decision if we want to play with rose dragons this turn we have jet synchron as well okay so we don't really need the rose dragons this is going to be the most difficult bridge if you guys see a better bridge let me know in the chat uh i think this you know we're not going to put rose dragons for this one we have jet synchron as well in here so we're going to go for this oh enchantress oh yeah wait no enchantress oh yeah enchantress yes 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 enchantress is way better good call the enchantress is much better because this will save us a tuner package a little later on so here we're going to where is yeah, so we're going to reveal Geek Boy to go into Enchantress to go into Illusion of Chaos. Everything just works out perfectly together, which is why it's really cool. And now we're going to go into Libra Mancer Fire, revealing Illusion of Chaos. Now we're going to go into Libra Mancer Geek Boy, revealing Illusion of Chaos. And the reason why Illusion of Chaos in this deck is so crazy is you literally always get to draw one or two with it, always with Magician Souls. Now that we, we trigger Geek Boy and uh, uh, Libra Mancer Fire, we're now going to go into Magician Souls. We're going to Magician Souls, and we're going to send Illusion of Chaos. This is, you know, we have no Brave Package. We have no Rose Dragon. We have none of that, and this still is full combo. So here, we're going to draw two. Uh, we're going to draw two. Doesn't really matter what we get. All right, Jet Synchron, great. You always have the combo because you have two in your hand traps. Normal Summoning, a Valor, or actually a full combo. But, you know, Jet, this just means you get to save your cards. Uh, a cool little uh, thing to note is if you get hand trapped at any point, it uh, you're always able, like a, as like a worst-case scenario, uh, you're always able... Uh, because Libra Mancer Fire is a cyber, and this is very important, I'm gonna go back to this so you guys can see the full combo. But let's say we, we got hand trapped at any point and we can't really play. You could go into Land Farinka, so two random monsters, and then you take that and Libra Mancer Fire, which is randomly a cyber and, and different attributes, and go to Heat Soul. So then Heat Soul will be able to draw you a card, and like at any point, you could like play freely with Heat Soul as like the backup option of the deck to get free hand traps or free draws throughout your combo. So that's very important. Just keep in mind if you guys actually are interested in the deck, because the deck's actually insane. So, but what we're gonna do for this combo. Uh, cause you know, we're already here as we're going to normal summon Jet Synchron. So now in this case, uh, you're going to look at the, the levels that are most important are level one and level four. Level three is the least important. So we're going to get rid of the level three and the level one, we're going to Needle Fiber. Now Needle Fiber is going to go into Red Rose Dragon, uh, Red Rose Dragon. And because Libra Monsters, it's just the perfect deck for Red Rose. Rose, like you're going to see soon Libra Monsters in so many decks. Red Rose with Libra Monsters is fucking insane because Red Rose basically gives you three tuners. It gives you Red Rose, Rock Rose, and Basil Rose Shoe. 
those three level three tuners every single one of them is going to give you value every single one of them so first you're going to go to shooting riser dragon uh shooting riser dragon is going to send fairy tale snow you're going to chain block uh to let your rose dragon actually i'd rather fairy tale snow resolve most likely but we're going to send that anyway it's going to rocks rose dragon rocks rose dragon is going to get you basil rose shoot and now that you're going to get basil rose shoot uh you're going to look at this field so this is the field that you're going to have uh next you're going to put these into herald and now you're gonna you're gonna look at this board and be like yo trev yo where's the scythe lock you know you could basil rose shoot if you really want to you could basil rose shoot set up a scythe lock here you don't need it you really don't need it so a board like this you're gonna think like oh trev that's not crazy of a board it's really easy to beat so this is what this board actually does so just so you guys can see the actual board what this board will do and it's not the full board this is just a basic you know average hand we had a lot of hand traps what this board is going to do is you're going to make sure you're going to have ash valor one interruption you're going to have herald of herald of arc light three interruption okay you're going to fairy tale you're going to use needle fiber to bring a desert locust this is four interruption because you're going to get rid of a card in their hand you're going to fairy tale snow ban uh book one of his cards. that's five interruptions you're then going to link these into baron de floor so you're gonna have six interruptions this is why desert locust is so crazy with fairy tale snow and then if that's not enough you have enough for you'll always have enough for two fairy tale snows and then you'll use your second fairy tale snow to, for the seventh interruption and even then if that's not enough you're going to put these into black rose dragon for the eighth interruption but you're never gonna need eight interruptions but this is a six interruption combo by itself with whatever hand trap you open and your opponent is never gonna play around it and because the libra monsters have such insane strategy uh, you're gonna any single Libra Master you draw is a plus four moving forward. Any single Libra Master you draw is a plus four moving forward. And you have Fairy Tale Snow and Grave, all this follow up and Grave. And Herald of the Arc Light, when it goes to the graveyard, is gonna get you Illusion and Chaos. So you're gonna be able to freely play it. So it's a, like the deck just pluses automatically and keeps going. We have five cards in our hand. It's just GG. Like you have Illusion of Chaos, Base Road Shoot, gonna special another one. You're gonna keep going forever and ever and ever. So that's just a base combo. Ten, eight interruptions over there. And, you know, the, the deck plays 18 hand traps. So if you have 18, eight interruptions normally, you're getting 18 hand traps there. So that's the idea behind Synchro Libra Monster. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.